Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your December 2022 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for our lovely Leos for December 2022, Angel Spirits Guides. Overarching energy first, Leo. We will pull some general energies, then look specifically at love, romance, relationships, and money, career, finances for you, and anything else that comes out. Okay, what do we have for our lovely Leos, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo, thank you. We have King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles as your overarching energy. So this person feels important to you or the energy of what this card represents. Four of Swords. Six of Cups. Two of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands. Let's see what we have in Love, Romance, Relationship for you first. What do we have for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Love, Romance, Relationship, Sector first for December, thank you. December 2022, thank you. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Two of Wands. Let's have a look at Money Career Finances. Message for Leo, thank you. Message for Leo. Message for Leo, thank you. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Ace of Swords. I love that. Okay. You know, I, I did look at the bottom of the deck and every time I do that, I always make sure I put that card down because it's important. So I did take a sneak peek there. Okay, let's pull your Angel Answer card, Leo, for the month of December 2022. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Leo? Thank you, two cards. We have, if you believe, this for me can be very magician energy. It's the symbol of creation, Archangel Metatron. So there's a, a kind of message here, Leo, that if you truly believe in yourself and what you're capable of, then you can manifest anything. And that's the energy here with the if you believe. Because it's always supported by God, Spirit, the universe. We have perfect timing. Something happen, happening at the perfect time for you in or there could well be even something about timing right place right time okay let's pull a card for love romance relationships so what do we have for leo please message for leo thank you love romance relationships yeah we have finances and career Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You know, it's interesting, as I was pulling out the cards and I was looking at the overarching energy, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, it's almost kind of like, you know, it's like somebody saying, we can't buy that house, we can't buy that house together, we can't do this together, we can't, you know, progress this because we we need the money, you know, we need to get the money first. So there is that kind of issue that I'm feeling here, Leo feels like a focus. Let's pull a card for your money career finances. What do we have for Leo, please? Message for Leo. Message for Leo. We have positivity, faith and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. 
So that's your money career areas. Okay, Leo. So, I mean, I love this overarching energy. So if stability and security was an issue for you, you feeling secure, successful, stable, because that's the feeling of the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who understands how to manifest stability and security and wealth and success in their life. So if this is something that you have been waiting for or working towards, there is a new beginning opening up for you in December, Leo, and it's it's abundance. This is new abundant energy. The Ace of Pentacles can represent new jobs, new business opportunities, new career paths. Um, and it feels it's bringing, it's making you feel financially stable, secure and successful. If you don't feel that now or you've been working towards that, this is somebody who feels like they're achieving, that they're claiming success, that they're manifesting the reality that they want because the King of Pentacles understands how to do that. King of Pentacles is practical of the conscious reality, things that we can touch and see and use. So this is somebody who understands how to manifest the physical world, their physical environment. And there's a strong energy here of, of you're doing that. There's a new beginning linked to that path. I feel for the majority of you, money, career, finances is a factor here. It feels that way uh, because the the Ace of Pentacles can be a new door opening for you here, Leo. There's a feeling here that you felt trapped in a situation that was beyond your control. But you've had to keep the faith and you've had to keep on moving forward on a path. This feels that change is happening for you this month. Now, this can sometimes be, you know, when we talk about divine timing, the Ace of Coins can sometimes be nicknamed the Helping Hand card. Uh, and I'm, I'm certainly feeling with this timing energy, that will be things just happen and fall into place for you almost synchronous in a synchronistic way. Uh, but this can also be a person. So the King of Pentacles can be somebody in business, um, would be at the top of their game, a leader in business, male or female, somebody who holds opportunity because this would be somebody who could offer you the opportunity. They hold this pentacle here. So it might well be somebody as influential in offering you that opportunity as well. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, but not limited to that here, Leo. This is somebody who is practical and down to earth, can be very strategic, but not afraid to roll their sleeves up and get stuck in. What can I tell you about this person? Well, if you're meeting a King of Pentacles, again, male or female, this is somebody who likes method. They like things done properly and done well. Uh, they're not the fastest moving of energies either. This is somebody who really likes to consider. So you might be waiting, you know, they might, they might need time to think because they do, they do kind of, they're very detail oriented. They're very, um, they take their time. So that will be that you're waiting on this King of Pentacles for a bit this month as well. But it's always because they like to get everything clear and structured and look at all the facts and have time to really think of things. That will be the King of Pentacles energy. But they're very solid, stable, secure, successful. They have no airs or graces. Like I said, they, they're not afraid to get their sleeves rolled up with everybody else. Even though they might be a leader in business, you know, they're very earth energy. They're very down to earth. I will say that this person, if you're meeting with, know your facts, know your facts. If you feel like you're going to be quizzed, maybe in a meeting or something, just really know what you're talking about because you can't skim over things with this kind of person. So be aware of that. This feels like you're just waiting, waiting on some kind of decision. Uh, this can be, the, well, it can go this way, that way. This is about weighing up what could happen here with the Two of Swords. These two energies can just feel sometimes where we're stuck, when we're waiting, when we're waiting for the information, when we're waiting to see the way forward, waiting for clarity. These can be that pause energy. But intuitively, however, you might feel particularly good if you've met with this King of Pentacles. You might feel hopeful and positive, 
but almost like I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to say it's going to go one way or another. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting on the information. And that's the energy here. Uh, again, this feeling of pause with that four of swords. Now, I want to, well, actually, let's go through here. So the six of cups and the eight of wands, Leo, this for me as a reader, you know, you can see the children in that picture. This can be where we come back to ourselves. It can be moments of joy, moments of delight, moments of wanting to jump for joy. Just when we were children, that innocent, pure delight, that is the Six of Cups energy. With the Eight of Wands, news, communication, conversations going on here. So it might well be that there's some kind of news or communication going on here that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, that brings you delight here this month. Um, other meanings of the Eight of Wands, it could well be ongoing. So something could be ongoing. Uh, you're having conversations with somebody. Now, if that's the case, you know, the Six of Cups for me as a reader, it can be connecting to a past place person situation. Uh, for example, if you are looking to go back to a place of work that you worked before, you're waiting on the outcome here, or going to work with somebody who you were connected to in the past in some way, you're waiting on some kind of outcome. And again, this could be the conversations that you're having. Um, also, the Six of Cups can be moving back to our roots of origin. So maybe with family, you know, you're wanting to move back with family in some way as well. So it could well be there's some kind of ongoing conversations on that basis on a work scenario while you're trying to achieve that objective as well. But this is just, I just feel trapped. I feel trapped in this situation. Um, things are beyond my control. Now, be careful of that because this isn't the reality of the situation, even though it feels like that here, Leo. The Eight of Swords is our mind. It's what our mind does to us. It's the power of the mind how it keeps us in a certain energy in how we view something. So this is absolutely believe in yourself and focus on manifesting, focused on bringing something into reality. Don't give power to the mind because the Eight of Swords can be entrapment. It can be a way where our thoughts can be negative, we feel things are beyond our control and we can't move. We're stuck. We can't move in a situation, certainly with, you know, the four of swords and the two of swords, which, which again, which are again, mental energies. Swords are all about the mind, our perspective, our thought patterns. So just be aware that that might be the reality of the situation, that things might not have moved, food for, moved forward and you might have felt stuck in a situation for a period of time. But just allow yourself to keep that mental energy under control as much as possible that's what i will say to you because this can sometimes be the negative that takes over us you know um and stops us from being constructive and stops us from doing the things that you know we need to do because oh it's the situation is beyond my control i'm going to be stuck like this forever you know there's nothing i can do i just give up i'm you know that's and this is all that kind of energy but it's what the mind does to us and it's our that energy so just keep that in check here because there is these cards are lovely because right next to that is the ace of swords the liberator the new beginning um, and it's just coming in at the right time. The, the Ace of Swords, is a, it feels like a breakthrough. And this is linked to success. This is where you are given back your crown of power. This is where you're given back your victory. You're given your success. You're given your win. Because you can see on that card, and I always focus on this card in particular, with the mountains. You've had to climb a lot of mountains to get to this point but this is your deserved victory. This is your deserved win. This is your deserved success. And with the Empress energy, she represents new abundance in money, career, finances. Can also be a powerful female in business. Um, could be connected with this King of Pentacles as well. Or you could be connecting to a Taurus. Because uh, this can be Libra or Taurus. King of Pentacles is Taurus. For me as a reader in the Minor Arcana. 
So you might be connecting to somebody who is responsible for bringing you a breakthrough, but the Empress is where you don't feel lack, a new beginning and the creation. This is the physical form of what you have been manifesting. So beginning to play out. So she is a lovely energy here of the creation of something new. There will be a period here, Leo, where you just have to keep that faith. You have to keep that mind in check and stay as positive as you can. But there's real optimism around you. And that's what Spirit is saying. Just keep on going, keep on going. And that's what I'm getting here. Now, the this is the energy here. And, and I just feel that this is affecting your home, your relationship, because the two of wands is you've taken action, you've taken action, you've taken steps on a particular path um, and into the unknown, into, you know, progressing and moving forward in a situation. This is somebody who has taken steps or made decisions and choices even, but now you're waiting to hear back. But there's real kind of anticipatory celebration here with the Four of Wands. This can be a card of celebration in the home, the family, the relationship. And I just feel that this is a lovely energy here of there's a new beginning, a new golden gift, a new beginning opening up for you. If you believe it, you can make you can make it happen. And that's the energy here. Spirit's asking you to believe when you don't see, you know, there just has to be this blind faith for a period of time. But there's a strong energy here of the anticipation of real celebration and then the breakthrough coming. But there may well be periods of waiting here because this, like I said, this person in particular doesn't move particularly quickly. They're very detailed orientated. And um, I just think that this is a lovely energy here of a new door opening for you here, Leo. New beginnings, new abundance. Uh, it's sometimes called a golden gift, but I certainly feel that you're being given the help where you need it this month to deliver the end result. Two aces in a reading as well. I just want to bring the attention to that. The breakthrough card of the and the success card of the Ace of Swords that opens up a new door for you and allows you to liberate from whatever this Eight of Eight of Swords was with the Ace of Pentacles practical something in your conscious world and this looks to me like very good in terms of money career finances now with this the the ace of pentacles can be about moving and relocating as well so there could well be some choices on that basis too not limited to that though so i'm going to pull you a card from the archangel michael deck what do we have for our lovely leos please Message for Leo for December 2022. Message for Leo for December 2022. Thank you. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Message for Leo. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Number 13 get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine, so take back your power. And final message for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Yeah, we have wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful December and I will see you next time.